How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rowlett and welcome back to a brand new video guys. So today we've got more leaks and rumors and, sorry actually leaks, we just have leaks today, okay? Just a bunch of leaks, a bunch of interesting stuff, my phone is still blowing up, there is just more and more things coming out about these games. Understand, okay, if you don't want any leaks or any information or any quote-unquote spoilers about these games, then stop watching right now. Just stop watching right now because we're gonna go through a ton of leaks. Now, we'll start off with something more interesting that I think a lot of people are most likely pressing this video for, which is actually something made by Mizumi here, which I mentioned in another video the other day, which is a person that I think is great. He does a lot of... Um, you know, uh, modding games and, you know, data mining, that sort of stuff, uh, within Pokemon and also other games as well. And, um, well, basically, he kind of has something interesting here on his uh, Twitter timeline, which I'll show you in a second. Before we get to that, though, um, basically, if you don't want to see any spoilers for the games, please stop watching right now. We're going to go through a bunch of information about these games, because they have leaked, and there is so much being data mined right now uh, and posted. So, please beware. If you don't want to hear anything about it, just stop watching right now. But either way, let's get into the first thing here, guys, which is from Mizumi, which was this. So, what do you see right here? Well, this is apparently the first texture edit in these games. This is the first texture edit in these games. Now, as you can see right there, you've got yourself freaking Ash's outfit. Now, this is, of course, uh, fan-made as far as I understood it, right? Now, the original image right here, you know, showing the Ash outfit was like, okay, this is, this is interesting. Uh, you know, is this real? Is this actually in the game or is this fake? Because this could have been photoshopped, uh, the same way, you know, Mizumi, you know, kind of says later on here in his post down here, um, you know, you can see kind of how he feels a little bit confused because, you know, says, I don't know if it's, if that's real or not, uh, but if it's real, there goes my texture mod ID. And then he says, I'm just gonna assume that's a photoshop. Um, and then he posts the image which we saw a second ago with the actual gameplay, and it's this one. Thanks to a source that will remain anonymous, I was able to edit the textures for the playable character, and they will test it out for me. First texture mod, I'll be using it when I get my copy on Friday. Um, and then he was, I don't know, Aero is just asking for the soundtrack though, which is kind of out already, which I won't play for you because I will get slammed by uh, Nintendo for that. So I won't play it for you, but I will show it to you on screen and where you can find it if you want to listen to the Pallet Town theme uh, for these games. Just, uh, you know, kind of mentioning that for you guys right now. Um, so basically, like, what this is, though, got sent this image, uh, since we have, um, we ha you, since you have to chain the Pokemon to increase IV slash shiny chances, after you catch a Pokemon, it keeps track of the chain. So you have a catch combo, right? Which is nice, they show you that combo, which means we don't need to count encounters anymore. We can just can count the combos now, which is just no more, you know, reason to for me to press buttons and stuff on the screen, which is great. I, I really appreciate that. This is a good thing. That Masuda did for us, or whoever came up with this ID. This is a good thing. There, there is good shit that I see right here. This is something I like. Um, as for shiny hunting methods, though, there seems to be only one then, which is this method, right? You're just gonna chain them. You're just gonna combo, uh, combo point essentially your way up to uh, an increased IVs or shiny chances, right? Which is a little bit odd, but um, either way. So this is our first texture mod, guys. The first texture mod of these games. The first people have actually already done it. It's it's already happened. Uh, which is really insane to me when I think about it. Now, next up is something slightly more interesting. Now, this is Kurt right here. Now, Kurt is an interesting person. Kurt has been going crazy with the data mines on these things um, and just posting so much stuff. Um, you know, now I'm going a bit too far down, but um, we go up here. You can notice, like, uh, th there's a lot of things here, um, and you'll see what I mean. So, let's start off with the first things here. Many thanks to our anonymous data source for Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee data, data mine info incoming. So... First thing is Meltan, and like I said, a lot of spoilers. So Meltan, um, 046, 065, 065, 055, 035, 034, uh, BST, uh, 300 ability, Magnet Pulse. So we know the ability of specifically Meltan now, which is Magnet Pulse. Uh, next up is Melmetal. Uh, and you can see all the numbers and whatnot. And then we have the ability Iron Fist, which uh, we kind of already, th I think we knew about that. Um, but I'm not really sure. And uh, next up, what he says here, by the way, I've been hearing uh, an interesting rumor floating around recently. You wouldn't happen to know a young lady named Green, would you? So we already know she's in the game, but, you know, that's uh, it's interesting that he mentions that here. Now, the interesting thing about Pikachu and Eevee, though, is they're kind of broken. Um, their base stats are... I don't know. So what he says right here, to clarify, these stats are different from regular Pikachu and Eevee you can encounter in the game. These are distinct form, uh, they're, this is, wait, these are a distinct form of the species. 
Um, and apparently, but it's also an, a partner, not a regular ones. So, dude, these are partner Pokemon. So, of course, they're going to be really way stronger, but... Yikes, uh, this, that's pretty strong. Uh, <laughs> okay, so next up here. The starter you receive in Let's Go Eevee... Uh, wait, Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee have fixed IVs, uh, all flawless. Um, P.S. They can't be shiny. So, you can't get shiny starters in these games, which means no shiny hunting for a starter Pokemon, uh, which is already a little bit of a letdown for anybody who shiny hunts because you're already, you're already down, um, a, you know, a set of potential things to shiny hunt right there. Uh, but, of course, you can still catch shiny Pikachus and shiny Eevee in the wild, so, you know, you're, you're fine. Uh, but, you know, it's a little bit disappointing, I guess, for potentially shiny hunters who maybe wanted to have a different method for hunting for once, uh, you know, besides the one that we know so far. So, not sure if anything officially mentioned about the Team Rocket admins, but Archer uh, Archer appears to be involved in the story under Giovanni. Now, Archer, we've seen an image of, uh, this guy, he is in the game, apparently, uh, and he is involved. Now, not really surprising, uh, you know, he's a Team Rocket member, so nothing too crazy. Um... And then he says here, there's nothing to data mine. That's where you're wrong, kiddo. <laughs> well, the things that are data mined are kind of things that we, you know, less exciting than if this was a Gen 8 game. So, a uh, few more power changes. Uh, Absorb is now 40, uh, now uh, 15 PP. Uh, so, let's see, Mega Drain is f uh, from 40 to 75. I guess that's uh, power damage, or damage, essentially. Uh, now, 10 PP. Solar Beam is uh, 200. Oh, boy. Okay, Sky Tank is 200 as well. So I guess we see a bunch of good moves here that can be usable. I guess Absorb and Mega Drain are worthwhile having. Um, the friendship you build with your Pokemon has uh, has used beyond return and frustration. Higher friendship equals higher stats. Plus 10% on all stats except HP. Wow. Okay. Summary of the new moves. Uh, wait. Integer. 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 Jeez. Values shouldn't be too hard to associate with the actual type, etc. Um... So, all these moves have almost 100% accuracy, um, except uh, Floaty, uh, Floaty Fall has 95 accuracy. Uh, Baddy Bad, which is a horrible name. Um, and we know also now, we know the other moves. Uh, Sappy Seed, we didn't know about that one before. And Freezy Frost, Sparkly Swirl, um, let's see, did I miss any? Floaty Fall, Zippy Zap, oh boy, these are some bad names. These are, this is what I, I, I dislike these, I don't care what anybody says, if you like these names... Well, I don't know. It's, it's nothing wrong with you, but boy, boy, these names are bad. Oh boy, uh, I really hope they don't make more of those ridiculous names. They're just too. I mean, I know it's a children's game, but that's just ludicrous. Either way, let's continue with some more positive stuff, I guess, or maybe we shouldn't. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, Pick up a power though, or um, uh, VV uh, volley are one power, same as return and frustration. Example move description: The more EV loves its trainer, the greater the move's power. It never misses. Oh, boy. Uh, to clarify, these stats are different from regular Pikachu and Eevee you can encounter in the game. They're a distinct form of the species. Uh, In-game trade data exists for trading a Cantonian form species for the associated Alola form. Probably post-game. Do not, do not know where yet. Um, might not be post-game. Just speculating since the level range is not pretty drastic. So, rough docu documentation of the trades. See, see people are asking for levels. Um, PK hacks, source code, uh, work in progress updates. So, here I guess he's showing uh, the location... Of uh, specific trades. I guess Rattata, Sanchu, Vulpix, Diglett, Meowth, Grimer, Raichu, Marowak, Exigator, Geodude. Which are all Alola forms. And they say here where the position... I guess the positioning is... Um, it's always level 12, 27, 27, 25, 44, 44, 30, 38, 46, 16. You see right there the levels um, for, I guess, the... Uh, I guess the level of the Pokemon then, I guess? I would assume. Uh, Post-game gym leader rebattles are in. So you can actually rebattle gym leaders. That is good. Okay. That is good. That is really good. Um, wow, that is really good. I appreciate that. That is really nice. That is actually really nice. I am very happy with that. Uh, strongest tra trainer yet. Red, bonus green. Okay, so um, here is a trainer red, right? So he has um, a Pikachu with Thunderbolt, Brick Break, Iron Tail, um, Reflect, uh, Machamp with Superpower, uh, Fire Blast. Okay, wow. Uh, Earthquake and Hyper Beam. Uh, he's got an Arcanine with Heat Wave, Crunch, Willow Wisp, and Roar. You've got a Lapras with Ice Shard, Waterfall, Body Slam, and Mega Horn. Uh, that's in wow. These are some weird combinations. Uh, Snorlax with Toxic Protect, Rest, and Body Slam. Okay, and Venusaur with Sludge Bomb, Mega Drain, Leech Seed, and Amnesia. So Red's gonna yeah. It seems like Red's gonna be the, uh, the <laughs> at least the most interesting one to battle, I guess. Oh no, this is Trainer Green. Oh, oh, this is Trainer Green. Wait, no, Pokemon Trainer Red. I'm really confused. Oh, because I misread it, right? 
I misread it. Uh, no, it's just Pokemon Trainer Red. It's not Pokemon Trainer Red. I was, like, so confused. Um, so there's a total of 60 TM usable, shaking things up a bit. Okay. So they've got Headbutt, Taunt, Helping Hand, Teleport, Rest, Light Screen, Protect, uh, Substitution, Reflect, Dig, Willow Wisp, Facade, uh, Facade or whatever, uh, Brick Break, Fly, Seismic Toss, Thunder Wave, Dragon Tail, U-Turn, Iron Tail, Dark Pulse, uh, foul Play, Rock Slide, Thunder Punch, Excisor, Waterfall, Poison Jab, Toxic, tri uh, Tree Attack, uh, Scald Bulk Up, Fire Punch, Dazzling Gleam, uh, Calm Mind, Dragon Pulse, Ice Punch, Thunderbolt, Flamethrower, Thunder, Outrage, Psychic, um, Earthquake, Self-Destruct, Shadow Bull, Play Rough, Solar Beam, Fire Blast, Surf, Hyper Beam, Super Power, uh, Roost, Blizzard, Sludge Bomb, oh boy, okay, Mega Drain, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, Stealth Rock, Payday, Drill Run, Dream Eater, Mega Horn. Oh my god, that was a lot. <laughs> that was so much going through. Okay. Um, uh, you, you're the champion. I'm so thrilled that you asked uh, that you talked to me. Uh, I, I sell rare stones. I sell mega awesome stones that I bought overseas. And I'll sell them to you at the lowest pri uh, price possible, Ch -ch champion. <laughs> hey. Uh, thank you for your purchase. Do you want to buy any other stones? I, I can't believe that you bought them all. That's just like a champion. I hope you'll make a full use of those mega awesome stones. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, oh, boy. Oh, okay. Okay. So, there are no new megas, unfortunately, which is sad. Um, so, what he says right here is, uh, looks like the maximum amount of candies used for a stat is 200. Okay. Looks like the, it's added directly to the calculated stat after friendship boost. Looks like the stats are going to be crazy. Okay. Um, the candy boosted stats are internally called awakening values. Um, awakening, awakening up attack, awakened stat boosts are permanent, as far as we can tell, okay, props to Game Freak for leaving an original file name, um, and in, wait, internal enum names, um, even though they scrub the game code for symbols, make it so much easier, uh, make it so much easier to find stuff, uh, rough documentation of CP calculation, CP equals sum of the stats, no awakening, times level, times six divided by a hundred, plus awakening sum times level divided by four, uh, divided by 100 plus 2. Oh, boy, that's some weird calculation. Uh, Cinnabar Island, that's actually good to know that there's, there's like, they're at least doing something interesting with this stuff, which is actually, I appreciate that kind of. Um, so Cinnabar, uh, Cinnabar Island's lab and mansion looks, uh, looks spliffing. Now, I'm, I'm, a, I don't know. I feel like the mansion looks too good. I feel like it needs to be a little bit more run down. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, it's, you know, ru because it is ruined, right? When you go inside of it, it's, like, creepy, so to say, almost, um, which is, I, I don't know, that's a little bit, eh. but I do love the building right here. Uh, that looks great. A little, like, uh, I mean, I, I'm not sure what to refer to it. I was gonna say space station, but, you know, whatever you want to refer to it as, uh, but that looks good. So, next up, blue and champ rival rebattle, t uh, rebattle teams, nice evolutions. So, Tauros, Gyarados, Aerodactyl, Alakazam, Executor, Charizard for Gym Leader Blue. Okay, and you can re you can rebattle Blue as, uh, when you when you finish, when you can rebattle him in Viridian City, actually, as, as a new Gym Leader. Uh, and Champion Rival has a Pidgeot, Vileplume, uh, uh, Marowak, Rapidash, Slowbro, Jolteon. And then when he has, uh, when you rebattle him, he has um, Pidgeot, uh, Vileplume, Marowak, Rapidash, Slowbro, and Raichu instead of Jolteon. Or is this, like, different between the games? Maybe, maybe this is Eevee, like, let's go Pikachu, let's go Eevee, maybe. Or, no, this is... Is it? I'm a bit confused. Hmm. Okay, there isn't a post-game region. Islands uh, set to explore. Wait. Uh, slash islands set to explore. Similar to uh, Fire and Leaf Green. Uh, meet locations, items, and moves. Uh, move names dumped for languages available here. Uh, note, uh, they retain data... Let's see, they retain data from previous games. Indexes are nowhere written. Most even uh, event met locations go unused um, and are added so the game doesn't need to uh, get done to update if locations if ever, if is ever actually used. See prior game text dumps. Okay. Um, Master Ball. Master Ball. Master Ball. <laughs> Dank Mems. Um, but yeah, this is all translated right now here because of my freaking Google Translate. Uh, let's see, you know, the more I see these leaks, the more correct I feel in my judgment on this game. Seriously, Fire Relief Green seems to have more features overall than these games do. I agree, I agree. Fire Relief Green did have more features. Uh, also, weren't afraid to do new things, and if uh, they didn't stay true to the original, which is uh, a complete silly argument to try and justify missing components. I agree, that's my biggest problem as well with these games. Um, I've said it a million times. You know, I see good things with Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee, but I also see a lot of a lot of negatives, uh, which I've I've voiced a million times, and once I play these games, you know, I'll have a full opinion, and I'll tell you, like, what it actually, you know, was to feel, you know, feeling 
to play the full game. Uh, but let's continue here. Note the retained data. Okay, we've already read that. So next up, only Gen 1 species uh, 001 to 151. Plus Meltan and Melmetal have models. The Pokeball plus uh, Palma gets sent a .bab file of various cries and LED data. Again, only 151 plus 2. Okay. Wonder how Nuzlocke rules are going to get around this one. One of the gym's uh, prerequisites is having 50 different species captured, captured in your decks. Yeah, you can't, you can't, even the idea that me and, me and, um, Sludge Speedrun had for, sh for actually doing this, playing this game as a Nuzlocke, it doesn't seem to, it's not gonna work. It's just not gonna work. <laughs> wow. Okay, model swaps are gonna be simple and fun. So, yeah, I'm a Pokemon. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, you can mark a, a, a Pokemon as favorite probably after you catch it so you can note which ones are uh, rule legal to play with. That's cool. Okay, that's, that's nice. That's a little extra little, like, you know, little thing that's nice. Um... Stationary, uh, stationary encounter battles are time gated to five minutes. Gotta catch them all and fast. Ah, oh, that's ah, uh, I don't like that. That's what I dis. That's what I dislike about Pokemon Go. Like the Pokemon Go, f like what I dislike about Pokemon Go is having to you know when you're battling a boss battle that you have to like you know just quickly press your thingy bajingy right. If you lose your old team, revive them, get in again. That's just not fun to me. Like specifically you know in Pokemon Go that time gating, which is just boring. In my opinion, it just like it ruins. I don't know. It ruins the gameplay in my in my way or in my feelings. Up, uh, sorry. In my mind, it ruins the gameplay, and in my opinion, it ruins the gameplay. But I don't know. If you guys like time gated stuff, I mean, whatever. I think it's kind of. I don't like it. I personally don't like that. Uh, now, shiny rates is the same as Gen 7's, uh, one in four thousand ninety six rate. Uh, shiny charm is obtained from the game director after completing the Pokedex one to one fifty. Okay. If you keep catching the same species of Pokemon over and over, you'll have a better chance of meeting a really strong one if you can keep it going. I hear you'll be more likely to run into a shiny Pokemon. So if you keep catching the same species of Pokemon over and over, you'll have a better chance of meeting a really strong one if you keep it going. I hear you'll have uh, you'll be more likely to run into a shiny Pokemon. So, was able to poke around in the code. Here's what I think the boosted rates, depending on the chain count, are. So basically, let's see here. So... Um, chain count 0, 0, flawless IVs 2, shiny rerolls 1, uh, chain count 16, flawless IVs 4, uh, shiny rerolls 2, okay. Uh, and then when you go up to, um, to chain count 15, once you have 15 encounters, uh, flawless IVs 4, shiny rerolls 2, ch uh, chain count 31, flawless IVs 6, shiny rerolls 4. Okay, um, let's see, event flag names are really helpful, then I know, it's just, uh, say Kaku nature equals, as you know, there's a new mechanic to replace synchronize, the game checks the data to force nature, uh, nature now, but immediately below it gets IV slash shiny count, okay, clarification, uh, poss possible isn't rerolls, uh, you likely don't get a shiny boost at the start, it's like, uh, it's likely shiny rolls is one being no rerolls, okay, uh, editing wild encounters table is easy. New editing tools, PK and X. So, not PK and Hex anymore, but in the future, and X because the whole meme. Uh, anyway, so more info tomorrow. Uh, even though EVs are now unused in the stat calcs and never stored, Meltan and Melmetal yield 1 in 3 attack EV EVs uh, when defeated. So, uh, the gang's all here, and this shows images of, uh, you know, all of them. Uh, you've got, you know, all them dudes. Uh, you've got Brock, Misty, Serge, uh, Erica, Koga, Sabrina, uh, Blaine, and of course, Giovanni, uh, very nice. And uh, this is the original one, though, which is uh, kind of interesting. Though, kind of weird that like, the, they did it backwards, because it's, you know, Japanese. But, either way, so, audio files. Uh, this is a playable playable in FUBAR 2000. BGM files are split uh, for intro and main loop. Here's a hint for some bumping BGs. And he actually does, um, he does link, actually, the sound up here, which, I like I said, here it is, guys. Here's the music. Uh, but I won't play it. Uh, after Elite 4 post-game rematch, a new Viridian City gym leader has arrived. Blue stopped by to say hello. Huh, don't you worry, now that I'm a gym leader, I'm gonna make sure that all trainers in Kanto are up to my standard. So I do like that, you know, he takes over the gym. I do like that he can rebattle gyms. That's gonna add, like, a little bit of a post-game, at least. It's not enough, though, in my opinion. It's just, it's just not enough. Um, for, you know, the asking price for this game in comparison to the previous journeys we've had in Pokemon. Uh, but hey, it's at least something. I'll take at this point with these games, I'll take anything because anything is better than nothing at this point. Um, but it isn't looking great for anybody that was expecting any extra features. Like, I know a lot of people are telling me, like, dude, you're judging it too early, man. You know, there's probably going to be some other post-game, dude. Like, there's going to be something more. 
and it turns out there isn't really, uh, which is unfortunate. But at least some of the stuff we saw here is good. Um, I do like the information regarding the, you know, the fact that we can rebattle gyms. I like that. Uh, the shinies seem to be fine. I wish there was other methods to do it, but since there are no eggs, you can't really do that. Um, Fishing, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work, if there's going to be any fishing, because there are no random encounters, everything is in the world, right? You see it, everything in the world. So if fishing is gone, I'm really disappointed. As someone who loves fishing in World of Warcraft, and also in, like, tons of other games, that's a really disappointing thing to me. Like, I love fishing in games, uh, and if it's removed, then I'm going to be pretty sad, dude. But uh, I'm hoping it's not, I'm assuming it's not removed, but if it is, then that's, ooh, that's a... Uh, that's a minus on my board. But, uh, I don't know, guys. Wait, so, I think that is uh, about that for those things. Um, and I think we've, uh, I think we've gone through majority of things here. Uh, unless I've missed something. Uh, no. So, we've already seen, uh, Cinnabar Island. Uh, the image of that. Uh, we've seen the list of the TMs. And, oh, this is what I was going to show you guys. I remember now. So, this is the back of the case, if you haven't seen it. Um, it's, of course, in a different language. Actually, no, it's in English. An electrifying adventure with Pikachu. Our first Pokemon adventure for everyone, and uh, yeah, just images we've seen in the past, nothing too new, nothing too different. And I think that is just about it. Uh, the Pokemon that you capture in Pokemon Let's Go will have a, internally some random ability uh, ability of the possible ones, excluding the hidden ability, of course. This will uh, show the skill when you transfer them to the 8th generation game. So this will confirm then that we are going to be able to transfer these Pokemon to Gen 8. Oh, so there are no abilities. But there are internal abilities, right? There is a hidden ability, but, you know, uh, like, there's, there's, like, an internal ability on the Pokemon, but that isn't actually present in Let's Go, which I guess they're keeping there for when you can transfer these Pokemon to Gen 8. That's an interesting point. That's actually really nice. I, I, I do like that possibility. Okay, that's cool. Um, so the, uh, the shiny charm returns and it is obtained by completing the Kanto Pokedex. Uh, you can you get it from the, uh, the Game Freak director in the game. Um, and, uh, right here, I don't know, this is, like, uh, red, green, blue, alpha, um, and whatnot. That's the, like, actual image, so to say. But, yeah, I think that is it, guys. I think I've gone through everything, unless I didn't go through this, which I think I did. Yeah, we've gone through this, um, and we've already seen this, and, uh, ooh, yeah, we've already seen this as well. So, the champion is Trace. It's this guy, uh, for anybody who didn't know. Uh, they have an article here. If you wanted, uh, if you didn't want to spoil spoilers, then we advise you to stop reading. But uh, yeah, uh, Kurt was basically going through stuff, and yeah, the the champion is uh, Kurt, uh, your rival in the game. He is the champion in the game. Um, so yeah, that is it, guys. I think that's all the info we have so far. Uh, if there's anything we have missed, and I just went on uh, <laughs> uh, Blues Encounter the uh, theme has been leaked, and he links here to the theme, which I won't play because that is very dangerous. For my channel, and I don't want to get banned. So yeah, guys, that's going to be just about it, though. I don't think Kurt is posting anything else at the moment. I wanted to record this video now before it gets too late, because you guys complained last night that my video was way too low volume. And that was because my microphone, I, I was having, I had it on normal settings, right? My normal speaking was right now, um, but we were whispering, right? We were talking like this. So, of course, it was way, way lower when the music was also slightly higher than normal. So yeah, I apologize about that, guys. But uh, we can actually see, like, uh, another image here of Lavender Town as well, um, you know. Uh, Vermilion as well. Uh, yeah, is that Celadon? Or I'm not sure. Uh, but either way, that's the end of this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all the next time. Have a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.